Adobe Merge, Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. And since today we have one software for photography editing that join all possible editing features. If this is a scenario of your perfect dream, Welcome to the team of photography lovers who search the answer on forever question Lightroom or Lightroom Classic. In this video, I'm gonna share with you everything you need to know. February 19, 2007. This date plays a huge role in editing world. As exactly in this date, photography lovers all over the world got a magic wand from Adobe Creators, which was an Adobe Lightroom. To be clear, it was the first version of Lightroom Classic we know with you today, and officially it had the name Adobe Lightroom 1.0. Now we need to skip a 10 years and appear in the October 2017. During annual Adobe Max conference, where creators from Adobe team showcased the latest updates and technologies, was introduced to new products as Lightroom Classic and Lightroom CC. So basically Adobe decided to split Lightroom into two distinct paths from which the name Lightroom Classic was given to the original Adobe Lightroom software. Lightroom Classic remained a local storage system, which means that all files were stored locally on the computer or any connected storage devices. And in the same time, Lightroom Classic provided a powerful editing features for the professional photographers. Lightroom CC that we know today as a Lightroom introduced a brand new cloud storage system which allowed to store the files in the cloud and give access to users to edit their photos whenever device they use. This version was created as for photographers who are looking to simplify their editing process as to the enthusiasts who are just start their editing journey. And our last key point on this timeline will be May 2019 when Lightroom CC was officially rebranded to the Adobe Lightroom. Now you can be sure that you know all biography of Lightroom and Lightroom Classic which have to help you to understand the difference between the names of two software. And if with timelines we are clear now, let's dive deeper into what is similar and different between Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. For start, to have Lightroom or Lightroom Classic on your device, you have to become a subscriber of Adobe, which means you have to purchase a subscription. Today Adobe offers two plans that include one or another software, but please be sure to check this information based on the current date you're watching this video. The first is Lightroom plan, which includes only Lightroom, which is cloud-based software and allow you to edit your photos by using desktop, mobile or a tablet. Lightroom plan also offer you 1TB of storage that allow to store 20,000 of raw photos or 200,000 of JPEGs. And this plan will be perfect for those users who are looking for using only Lightroom for photo editing and organization their files and also would like to have some budget option as Lightroom plan price on today is $10 per month, which is of course can vary based on the country and based on the cloud storage you use. The next plan will be photography plan, which already includes Lightroom plan plus Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. Photography plan as well can offer one terabyte of the storage and will be perfect for photography lovers who would like to use desktop and mobile for their editing goals and as well have access to the Photoshop for the more advanced photo manipulation. This plan will be more expensive than previous one and can reach $20 per month, of course, based on the country you are in. In description under this video, I will leave the link on the Adobe website page where you can get acquainted with all these plans and choose the one that will suit the best for you. Personally, I use a photography plan which allows me to have an access to Photoshop and make any kind of photo manipulation. But before you make a decision regarding any of those plans, let's dive into the main difference between software and figure it out which one may work the best exactly for you. And the main difference I already a bit highlighted at the beginning of this video, and this is the way how these two softwares store the files. So Adobe Lightroom is based on the cloud storage of the files, which means that your files will be stored online in Adobe's cloud servers. So when you become a subscriber on the Adobe, you create an Adobe account. And when you import your photos, whatever device you use, those photos appear in the cloud and you will have access to these photos and will be able to edit these photos from any device that have your Adobe account. It can be desktop, mobile or tablet. Besides using Lightroom and Lightroom Classic on desktop, only Lightroom can be used on any other devices. You may ask, and what the point of this? First of all, as I already mentioned, you can access to your files from any device that have internet connection. Because of 
the Lightroom Cloud Storage, your files are always protected and secured and there is no failure or any accident deletion that can lead you to the losing your files. And of course, saving files on the cloud, you free up the space on your exactly device and avoid any spends on purchasing any hard drives to store the files. But does Lightroom have any minuses? To edit files, you have to have a strong and stable internet connection to have access to your files, to upload them or download them. The next one will be storage limitations. So for example, if your plan doesn't include enough of storage, you will need to purchase more, which means it will become more expensive for you with time. How about Lightroom Classic? Is there any pluses or minuses? As I mentioned before, Lightroom Classic stores your files locally on the desktop or any connected storage devices. And of course, comparing with the Lightroom, Lightroom Classic can be used only on desktop. Then what are the pluses of such type of software? First and the main point, you have a complete control on your files and on the way how you store them. Lightroom Classic doesn't require any internet connection, so you can have access to your files whenever you have internet connection or doesn't have. And of course, having files on your computer or on hard drive, you have a quick access to these files, which allow you to speed up your editing process, especially if you have a high resolution files. But at the same time, having files stored locally on your computer or on storage devices, you have a big risk accidentally lose these files because of the crash of storage devices or perhaps some updates on your computer, which may lead to losing all files and all edits you may already done in the software. In the same time, you can use a manual backup in Lightroom Classic, which means that you manually save your edits as they are, but you and only you are responsible for this process. So if you will forget to make a backup in Lightroom Classic after one of your editing session and you will have accident, which will lead to removing of softwares from computer or update and losing all files, it will be very disappointing if you will not have this backup version of your last edits. And probably the last big minus, which I would name, it's a space on your device. As all files will be stored on your computer or on a hard drive, you will always need this extra space or on your computer or purchasing new hard drives, which of course can be a quite expensive. So based on the storing the files and access to your photos, wherever you are and whatever device you use, we have a complete winner here. And this is a Lightroom. But don't rush to take a decision because the next information may change the game for both softwares as we will dive deeper into the editing opportunities Lightroom and Lightroom Classic offer us today. So click next video to decide what exactly software will fit the best for your goals and spoiler, the answer might surprise you.